Well, we've been seeing tensions rise for a while now between the Polish government and the European Union. It was at the tail end of last year that we saw the extraordinary uh, intervention there from a senior figure in the Polish government accusing Germany of wanting to turn the EU into a fourth Reich. And of course, we've seen Poland hit the number of EU fines, uh, including a fine related to coal mine, a €500,000 daily fine. And then there was an additional €1 million Euro daily fine. Now, there has been further pressure from the EU for the Polish government to change direction in terms of their reforms relating to the judicial system. But the Polish government now are pushing back again and pushing back very hard indeed. And you've got the head of Poland's ruling party, the de facto leader uh, in Poland there, quoted as saying, we have shown maximum goodwill, but concessions have yielded nothing. Saying Poland had met its side of a deal with Brussels, but the agreement was broken by the other side, saying it's time to learn lessons, saying the EU Commission is not fulfilling its obligations to Poland. We have no reason to fulfil our obligations to the EU. Accusations of a broader conspiracy aimed at subverting Poland, accusing the EU Commission of trying to break Poland and force it into full submission to Germany. A quote there again is saying, we do not fit into the German-Russian plans to rule Europe. An independent, economically, socially and military strong Poland is an obstacle for them. The ruling party secretary general there also quoted as saying, if the EU Commission tries to push us against the wall, we will have no choice but to pull out all the cannons in our arsenal and open fire. Saying Warsaw would adopt a tooth for tooth strategy by vetoing EU initiatives and building a coalition to oust uh, Ursula von der Leyen, saying we aren't excluding any actions. It's a strong pushback against Brussels again there uh, from the Polish government. And I've highlighted this story before, you know, the talk of Polexit, Poland potentially leaving the EU in the future is definitely, has definitely uh, increased. I will keep bringing you all the very latest on this story, guys. So make sure you have subscribed, hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate your support and do check out my newsletter, the Brexiteer Bulletin. I'll put a link down below. And of course, as ever, guys, cheers for watching.